Dave here with another Canon video and today people have asked me how to do a more powerful hybrid Canon. You can see our old Canons over there. So we're just going to start this off really quick. Run, or, run three or four of these, it doesn't really matter. And do this, just like this. Then you're going to want to skip a space like this and then place your slab here and just like that. Okay. So you can already see it's taking shape, looks like a bus. So your piston's gonna go right here. Just run it like you normally would. All right. Um, you can do it one lower if you want. I don't like to because I I do this right here. And you can also you know have another dispenser facing downwards here if you like. It's all personal preference. Now all you have to do is run repeaters like this. Now the reason this works, repeaters can fire up to three dispensers. So if you have it like this, and you have it like this. Sorry for that. If you have a, a repeater here, it'll fire both of those, but if you have one here, it's going to fire both of those, the bottom two. Now, if you change it up a little bit, put it put it here, it'll actually fire all three. So just keep that in mind. You can do a lot of things with uh, dispensers. It's all about how you stack them. These things can be stacked way high if you need more power. And you can also add boosters back here and things like that, but that's up for you to learn. You know, I'm not going to teach you. You're going to have to actually go out there and experiment a little bit. I'm not going to do everything for you, so... There's the basic design, just like that, and you're just going to repeat this over here. And same piston rules apply as before. Now I'm going to bring it out one extra, and I think for this one we're going to do it like this, just so you guys can get a good visual representation of what to do. So since that is one, you're going to have to have nine more. There you go, I'll just do this last one like that right there. So there you go, that one's on two ticks. And all of these on a full delay. And then you just run these like this. Connect it here. Have your boot in. Right, y'all. Okay. So you'll see, this will fire those dispensers, and then it'll fire the piston. Not too hard. Now you do the same thing on this side. Whoops. And now all you're going to do is run eight repeaters coming out of here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, of course, if you want to run six repeaters in a comparator, you can do that as well. But personally, I don't think shooting a scatter shot is that effective unless you're doing like a sand wall or something. It's just not going to do too much extra damage, being realistic. So here you go. And your cannon's pretty much done. You're going to have to adjust your delay over here sometimes. You may actually have to even remove that repeater. It depends on server delay. But on my tutorials, I will always add the 10th one so you guys can see that that's how you would fix it. And that is the cannon complete. So we'll be right back. We're just going to load it up and set up a target. And when we do, we'll uh, resume All right, video. guys, we're back. And for the sake of this video, we have turned our sound down uh, just so when I'm shooting, you guys can actually hear. We've put up a couple walls just so you can see. So what we're going to do is the first thing you always want to do with any cannon is test the sand delay. And what I mean by that is make sure your sand's actually firing. So you see our sand fired, but it went way too freaking high. Now, f the first thing you want to do when that happens is check, do I have too little delay or do I have too much? Or is it just right and I need a barrel? So the way to do that is you just put a couple blocks, change your repeater delay, see that sand broke, we'll shoot it one more time. You change the delay up to fit the needs of the server. See that broke before it uh, exploded there. So we know that this is about perfect. We'll shoot it one more time. But our sand goes way too high. So how do we fix that? Well, it's actually really easy. You want to come off of this, not this piece of sand, but this one, one block. So it's above, just like that, and come out a few. And we're just going to add a quick barrel. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you never want to build your cannons right up next to the enemy's claim. Always want to leave your room, yourself room for at least 8 to 10 pieces of uh, thing for a barrel. So let's go ahead and shoot once, and you should see that the sand should hit the wall. See that? It looked like the sand actually gl glided across the ground. I don't think glid is a word. Yeah. But see, the sand landed. So we're going to shoot that one more time, just so you can see the sand actually stacking. These are things you're going to have to do in a real game, so might as well use it. Well, we have a bat. There we go. So our sand stacked. Now all you have to do is re-enable your TNT circuit. 
and boom goes the dynamite, magic should happen, and the wall should go boom boom. And there you go, just like that you're through the wall. And uh, I don't, I haven't tested the distance to the second wall. I believe we would need the cannon raised up two blocks for the second wall to blow up, but we'll see. Yeah, it see, it, the sand is going lower than the TNT, which happens when the walls are too far away. You either have to add more dispensers going up with more redstone power, or you have to move your cannon up a few blocks. Uh, you never want a cannon at bedrock level. You always want a cannon about 10 to 14 high, where your barrel's at 10 to 14. Uh, you're going to have to scatter cannon all the way through, you know, get to their slabs and break that. But there you go. That's how you make a lot more accurate hybrid cannon. I hope this helps you a lot. Uh, if you have more tutorial questions, just ask and I'll make them. I'll do a quick overview. Ten repeaters going to the piston, the last repeater, one, two ticks. And if that doesn't work, you either remove the repeater so you have nine on full, or you adjust the repeater delay to the server lag. It's going to be different for everyone. Um, I know OpticCraft, this delay works perfectly most of the time, but sometimes you have to use nine. It's, it's really difficult. And uh, so yeah, I hope, I hope this helps you guys. I know it sure helped me when I was learning. Nobody, you know, nobody had cannon tutorials on YouTube. I just I want to help everyone get better, so rating's more of a challenge. Oh, there we go, that one worked. But uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.